Hello all, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showcasing how to create realistic looking clothing mockups of your design using none other than Duran Supply mockups, which you can find on my website both for free and for not free. Let's get started. Finding the right mockups will significantly better your presentations to a client or a customer, and it's going to result in more sales and sweet, sweet moolah for you. So I have one of my mockups open right here. This is the sample layer T. This one is free on my website, so you can go ahead and snag this while you watch the video and play along with me. This is one of my modular mockups, so it works both as a layered long sleeve and as just a normal tee. First thing you'll notice is that it looks a little bit different than other mockups you may have used. That is because it is better, um, but yeah, it also looks a bit more complicated. Do not worry, I made this as user-friendly as possible, and it's gone through some rigorous quality control. So there's no details left behind. It is just as pretty as it is practical. I'm actually not gonna showcase this exact mockup because this is one of very few modular mockups. Most of my mockups are not modular, they're just the mockup. So this is one of them. This is the boxy mock tee. You can see when we open the group for the front of the tee, there are various groups here. There are the effects, the shadows, there's a group that you put your design in and there's a die fade group. So there's lots of stuff here, including effects for added realism. And I'm gonna get into what this all means in just a second and show you how to actually put your designs on here. So this is quite literally a drag and drop situation. All you have to do to get your designs beautifully presented is set your color using this colorful layer down at the bottom of the group. You can pick whatever color you want for your t-shirts. I'm gonna stick with black for now. Once you've picked your color, you're gonna wanna head into the design here group just select this delete layer and here you're free to drag and drop. So open up wherever your designs are located in your files. Just drag your artwork in, resize it to match the t-shirt, place it wherever you want and boom, pretty simple. And I'm actually wearing this shirt right now. Check this out. Hold on. Isn't that cool? Pretty cool shit. Looks exactly like the mock-up, doesn't it? But anyway, that's really all it takes. This looks pretty good already, but I've added some options in this mock-up for you to fine tune this to your liking say if you want more of a vintage effect and so on let's check out this die fade group and see how we can get this pretty cool faded die effect just by turning this group on and it's kind of hard to see on a black garment so i'm gonna go ahead and make this a color let's go with something like a nice moody blue while we're at it by the way i really try with these mock-ups to make the colors be super adaptable and that way whatever color you choose looks both tasteful and realistic and that's when this die fade really comes in handy so you see if i turn this off we get that strict blue look on our t-shirt. If we turn it back on, you see that we've got some fading spots here and there, and it's a little bit discolored, and it just gives more realism to the dye of the t-shirt. The default opacity for this group is 80. If you want more or less of an effect, you go in here and just change the opacity to your liking. You can see here's what it looks like before, and here's what it looks like after. This also works pretty well, say for just getting that uh, vintage faded look on a black t-shirt. So if you were to just set the color to a pretty dark gray, and then also turn on this dye faded group, then we get this really nice faded vintage tee look. So it's pretty simple stuff, but there's great results. And one thing you'll also notice is that this effects group is turned on by default. If you turn it off, you see that it gives us quite a different effect on the mock-up. I left this on by default because I like how it gives the mock-up more life and a kind of worn feel. But if you don't want that and you're going for more of a clean look, you can always just turn this off and there you are. Let's also delve a little bit more into what these effects entail. So I'll open up this group and we see that we have a texture group, intensity levels adjustment, and some levels adjustment up here for bright whites and a faded black color. So this texture group is what's giving the mock-up that vintage worn look. And by default, the opacity is set to 35. But if you want less or more of this effect, then you can play with the opacity. So let's say I wanted more of a vintage look. I could turn the opacity of this to something like 50. And we can see that this dials in more of that vintage effect the higher we go with our opacity. And let's say we want less of it, of course, we could just go down and dial in the effect to our liking. This group also has an intensity levels adjustment on top of it, and this just makes the effect more intense. So if I turn this off, there's just less contrast in that texture. There's also this intensity too up here, which I would only recommend turning on for lighter colored garments. I included that in the layer name, just so you know, that's only for lighter garments. There are these levels effects up here for a faded black look and a bright white tee look. I, I went ahead and turned the t-shirt back to solid black for this, just to show you how the faded black looks. So it's just a quick uh, toggle of when you want that vintage feel. You just turn this layer on and it gives you that faded black tee look, like it's been worn for a couple of years or something, been washed a lot of times. And of course, we also have this bright white levels adjustment, which of course works for the white tee. So I'm gonna go ahead 
and drag a design in here that's for a white t-shirt so i can show you that so i'm just going to bring this design onto this t-shirt resize it as per usual and make sure it's in the right group make sure it's in the design here group you can see when i put it in that group we automatically get that really nice t-shirt texture on the graphic because of these two layers clipped to that group right here so if you have it outside of that group you won't really get that nice texture on it i'll put it outside the group right here you can see that we instantly lose that texture but anyway back to the effects you can see that by default the white tee is just a little muted so if you want to get a brighter look on this you just go ahead and turn on this bright whites levels adjustment layer and that makes the white tee ever so brighter however if this just isn't bright enough for you one thing you could do is go into the shadows group here and navigate to this white T layer that's set to multiply and just turn the opacity down to something in the upper mid range like 70, 60, 80, something like that. And there you get a very bright white T. That's just about it for how to use my mockups. Of course, all my mockups come with a front and a back to them. So you have both options when you're making your mockups. So you can present both of these to your client or customer without worrying about one not matching the other. These are the same blank that I shot and they all come in the same file. One more thing I wanna add is that for my modular mockups, such as this layered vintage tee that we have here, it's pretty straightforward, but all you have to do to go from the layer long sleeve to the t-shirt is enable this layer mask up here, which it says on this group, of course, but just in case you were a little confused, all you have to do is click on that layer mask and that will turn the layered long sleeve into the t-shirt. If you wanna add the long sleeve again, you just have to hold shift and click on that layer mask and that will disable it. And there you get these sleeves back of course you could change the color of these sleeves and the color of the t-shirt independently so you can see here that we can of course take these sleeves any color that we want and of course the same is true for the color of the t-shirt say i wanted to make this white or something very simple stuff great results all of my mock-ups are above industry standard quality and i know this because i've worked with industry standard mock-ups and they kind of suck. And it's actually part of the reason why I made some of my own. So you really can't go wrong with these. As I say, they're so lifelike that you'll forget it's digital. And I have plenty of these mock-ups with plenty of different types of garments on my website for you to choose from. So make sure you head over to toronsupply.com if you haven't already and go pick one of these up. This one is always my favorite. It's just absolute chef's kiss. I love it. I worked extremely hard to get the shaping and quality and texture right on all these mockups. So definitely go check that out and play with all the options I provided for you. And like I said, I have sample mockups for you to try out. So if you go go to my website, duronsupply.com and go to the freebies page, all you have to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom here, enter your email and you will get emailed a link to download the layered long sleeve mockup sample and this old vintage t-shirt mockup sample, as well as all these cool effects that you'll get in your email. That's about it. I hope you learned something, hope this helps. Go to my website or else make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want more graphic design content. As always, thank you for watching. Peace out.